Probably not. It's a difficult lesion to characterize, um, but there is an intact cortex on this T2 uh, image, and there is no soft tissue component. So we're going to use the non-aggressive lesion algorithm for this case. Is it solid, cystic, or lytic? Well, solid lesion, cystic, lytic. Well, this is internal solid enhancement, so it's solid. Any matrix on this case? No, I don't really see any classic ring and arc matrix or osteoid matrix. Um, so this would fall into the other category. And now we have this differential, fibrous dysplasia, patches, and giant cell tumor. Let's narrow this down a little bit. Um, is it fibrous dysplasia? Probably not. No ground glass, no classic ground glass matrix for this lesion. Is it Paget's disease? No, because the bone itself wasn't enlarged. The cortex wasn't enlarged. So giant cell tumor is possible. Um, this was a giant cell tumor. There are benign lesions, but they can be locally aggressive over time and grow uh, outside the vertebral body and into adjacent soft tissue structures. The sacrum is the most common location. Women are more affected than men. And there's usually no matrix formation with these lesions. And they can appear dark on T2 due to uh, internal hemorrhage, and that's the key to remember. Uh, this patient had the lesion uh, was watched for a little bit and then removed due to slow enlargement over time, over several follow-up studies, and then the local area was treated with radiation therapy, and the patient did okay. Great job making the correct choice. Now move forward to the next case by choosing the link in the comments below.